My company was started in 2005. And because of my long time in Africa, I realized there was a serious problem of lighting. And in 2005, I decided to resign from the oil industry and take this on as a full-time challenge. On the question of a business opportunity for s solar power or LED lighting or renewable energy in Africa, it's huge. And the basic uh, reason I say that is quite simple. My products cost less than the competition, kerosene. If you look at all the other uh, opportunities and advantages, education, social equality with women uh, not having to go buy kerosene, the health aspects of kerosene exploding or catching on fire, uh, women, uh, 1.6 million women a year, women and children mostly die from cancer, from biomass inhalation. Uh, all those are, are why I got into it. But the reality of the matter as a businessman, my products are by far much, much cheaper than the present option of either kerosene, candles, or conventional flashlights. So a huge opportunity. This is the original one we came out with. And as you can see, it has six LEDs. And this has the six LEDs, but then it has these, that's the six, high, medium, low. And then we have this one, which is the room light. Sure, the market obstacles to introducing a new product, whether it's Africa or the West, is it's a new product. People aren't aware of it. Only in the last couple of years have LEDs, light emitting diodes, gotten good enough and gotten strong enough, bright enough, and cheap enough, and last long enough to really make this a product that can have an impact. The second problem is just the inherent inefficiency of bureaucracies. And with a bureaucracy like a customs bureaucracy, importation, no one's ever seen a solar light like the ones we make before. So how do you accurately judge the, the duty tariffs, for example? The World Bank estimates 1.6 to 1.7 billion people, almost one-third of the planet, still relies on kerosene, primarily, for, for their lighting needs. One of the areas that Lighting Africa does very well is bringing a lot of different players to the table, stakeholders, I guess you could call them. So whether it's finance, people bringing in investment money, or whether it's entrepreneurs like myself developing new products, or whether bringing government bodies in. The validity of being able to say the IFC is my partner or the IFC assists me gives me immediate credibility with world governments.